Good evening. And hello. Happy holidays. A non-denominational happy holidays to you. You're not wearing your hat. I'm not. It's too warm. Oh. I think it's nice. It's so warm. It's nice for like 20 minutes, half an hour, and then it's... Oof. Yeah. I was exhausted. Yeah, that should be okay. I don't know if the desktop audio is way too little. I'm gonna go ahead and double check that. Just don't steal horses. Problem solved. <laughs> like, we shouldn't be here. I didn't commit a crime. Yes, you did. I feel like there's a lot of background noise. Oh, the fridge is going. It's alright. I'm gonna turn up the game volume here a little bit. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Village are you from? Horsley. 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 There we go. Here we they're go. They're gonna behead him for stealing a horse. Oh, they're gonna behead him for stealing a horse in the company of Stormcloaks, yeah. It's not. You can't. You can't do that. You can't steal horses. Not in Skyrim. Well, you can, but it's frowned upon. <laughs> it's frowned. It's frowned upon. No, they, they're only going to execute him because he was with Stormcloaks. Because if you steal a horse later in the game, they're like, oh, pay us a fine of a hundred gold. Right. Or spend like six hours in jail. Those dragons really calm everyone down. Oops. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers if you haven't played Skyrim, even though it's been out for almost ten years. What are the chances that they do like a ten year anniversary edition, though? Probably pretty high. <laughs> How many copies of Skyrim can we sell? All the copies. All the copies. It's a nice, like, mountain there in the background. What, like right here in the foreground? Yeah. Foreground, I guess so. whatever. I don't know. Well, like, background's it's the clouds and stuff. It's built into the castle, kind of. I think the castle's built into it. <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Look at that one. That one's nice. Yeah. I just like mountains. I should watch Network quality problems. No way. Oh, you know what? That's something that I should do. I'm not gonna do it now because we're already streaming. But I should have changed it from FTL to RM RTMP, RMTP. Yeah, we're just horse thieves. We promise. You weren't even stealing a horse. There. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's how like I don't. I didn't play Oblivion, but I played Morrowind, and that's how Morrowind starts. You wake up on like a ship with another dude, and he's like, "Hey, they freed us. We were slaves, and now we're freed." He's apparently a saint now. Who? Raylon? No, he's a character named Jeb. Oh, I'm sorry. And in in Morrowind, he's the guy who is on the boat with you when you first start the game. Um. Dink. <clears throat> And in the in the the shadow realm when you're doing the vampire stuff, um, there's a, a Saint Jeb there. Who are you? Oh god, what a deep question. Who are you? <gasps> so if you turned tuned into uh, episode one of Gaming with Girlfriend, we were talking about playing Skyrim after the fact, and we did. Uh, I have mentioned it a couple times, but I messed up the audio for it, and so hopefully the audio should be fine now. How do I change my gender again? Uh, your sex and Sorry. over body. I should be better. Triggers. And that's how you can change sex. Um, so I messed up the audio for that, so we ended up not posting it. Uh, and then we were talking a bit about sort of the direction we wanted the show to take and sort of how much time 
we had to spend on writing show notes and that sort of thing. And we decided that we should do a show, the talk show portion, where we do the, the talking bit, and a separate sort of show where we do the gaming bit. Because um, you can't have a show called Gaming with Girlfriend and not play games with, with a girlfriend. Uh, so that's what the 0.5 episodes will be. So one week we'll do episode one, and we're talking about stuff, and then 1.5 we'll be playing the game that we talked about. Um, I don't know how long you're going to be playing this for. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I made this whole character last week, and now I'm like, I don't know if I want to even do that. You can play a totally different character. I know, but it's just so much decision-making, you know? The best part about it is that if you don't like it, you just start over. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Why already you start it over? I don't know, man. What kind of character do you want to play? I don't know. I was just reading about the Wood Elves. They can command animals to fight for them. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. They have a, a natural power. It works on, like, low-level animals, and you can't do it in town because then everybody freaks out. Yeah, well, they freak out if you do anything in town, really. Yeah. You kill somebody's chicken, foof. Whole town's in a tizzy. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to, to sort of talk about right at the beginning here is the show is called Gaming with Girlfriend, and uh, if you don't know, Skyrim is a one-player game. I don't have the controller in my hands. So... Why are we doing a show about gaming with your partner if I'm not gaming with my partner? And that's a perfectly valid question, and I have prepared an answer for it. Um, not prepared so much as, like, that's just how it happened. And I, I talked about it a little bit on episode one, where part of getting somebody into gaming is giving them a chance to find something that they like to do, a game that they like to play, um, and also not creating the same degree of comparison that you get in a multiplayer game. And so we, we talked about playing Sea of Thieves, and when we first started playing Sea of Thieves, uh, you felt pressured and didn't have very much fun, if any fun, the first couple of times that we played. Because um, it was me and we were playing uh, in a crew of three, with me and one of my friends, and we had been playing it for a little while, and had been gaming for you a long time. You guys just have game experience. Yeah, that I sort don't. of base game knowledge. I didn't at the time. You don't have a ton of it now. No, but I have more than. But I you did. certainly have more. I forget what it was. I think it was when we were playing um, Stardew last. And you did something that I was like, hey, that's game sense. You're starting to get it. Um, and so Skyrim was one of the earliest games that you played in our relationship um, that you felt really good about playing. Um, I think you had fun right from the beginning. Skyrim? Yeah. Yeah. Because I wasn't there telling you, hey, I need you to be here doing this thing instead of what you want to be doing. And you also no, didn't I mean, get the... it was definitely challenging, I would say, but... That's like learning how to use the controller and, and the other bits and pieces of that. But those sort of things come easier when you don't have to worry about the, the social relationship aspect of that. You get to do the... Because that's how... Like, we grew up... That's how you get into gaming, right? Like, you go and buy something, you buy a console or a handheld. Um, I think most... I hate, to, I hate to say it, but I think most millennials would have started gaming on a console. Uh, nope, on a handheld. Um, like, I started with a Game Boy Color. And you started with a DS. Yeah. And I think most people would have started with with some sort of handheld Nintendo, handheld Sega. Uh, I mean, even Caleb started with a Game Boy, and I don't think he's a millennial. No. I don't know that no. I'm considered a millennial. I don't know. You're, like, right on the cutoff there. Yeah. I think I'm about the youngest you can be and still be a millennial. I don't really care, to be honest. But... It doesn't super matter, but, it you know, people like to hear that. 
Um, I don't really love these eye color options. If I want normal looking eyes, they have to be these cat eyes. Amber? I don't know, that looks pretty good. It's alright. That's wood elves, you know? Oh, man. I don't do that. <laughs> Yikes. So, part of why Callie's playing Skyrim now is that it is a throwback to when she started gaming with me. And if you're watching this, or if you spend any time on Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, Facebook streaming, if that's what you watch or are into, you're watching somebody play a game. And that is how you become a part of a community and grow a relationship with other viewers and with the streamer themselves. And so back like when I was a kid, we would play split screen games that would support like two player campaign modes or even two player split screens. And me and my four friends would just like rotate around and it was fun to watch. And it still is fun to watch. That's why people watch Twitch and Mixer streams. Um, and in a relationship, it can be fun to watch somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience playing a game. That was fun for me when you started playing Skyrim, because you would do things that I would be like, oh, that's kind of goofy and silly. Um, but I wouldn't have thought to do, because I'm in there like playing the game to, to win, and you're in there playing the game to have a brand new experience. So that's why we're playing a single player game on a show called Gaming with Girlfriend. Um, we're still spending time together. So it's still fun. I still get to bug you about stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, definitely not good at it. Or I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm not well, bad nobody's, at well, it. Well, I shouldn't say but no. I'm but I'm gonna there are make few people stupid mistakes, and you guys probably be frustrated with me at times just because of that but that's okay that's part of gaming with girlfriend is not yeah. getting pissed off when people do things that you wouldn't do yourself because they're not you they're their own person we're not blonde we're black cherry all right. Yeah. What's her name? That's always it, huh? It's always the hard part. Yeah, I guess so. My other one, like my first character was Zara. Yep. I was kind of thinking of naming this one Zora. Zora? Like the race of water people from the Legend of Zelda games that you haven't played yet? Never yet? Played. Yeah, I don't know. You can name her Zora. It's a good one. I always try to fit a J in mine. Adela. Because my name is John. So I like to to do J names. Like my my dark elf character in Skyrim is Joxelvin. Um, yeah. I think I've got a Nord named Johan or mm -hmm. Yorn. My first character, my my Nord Paladin, was just John. Could just name her Callie. Yeah. Could name her Katrana, even though she's not a druid. She's not Katrana. She's um... not Katrana. Katrana is Callie's Dungeons and Dragons character. My alter ego. <laughs> um, I like names that start with A. Okay. I'm singing and I don't know, not this one. But I originally thought Adela, but I don't like that name. Okay. I don't want more like Ada, but spelled super weird. Like A E D A or like Ayella? No, I don't want that. No, you can't. Have, that's a character's name in Skyrim already. But like uh, Ada would be like Ayella. Um, something with a Q or a Z. I mean, it's a wood elf, so Qs and Zs aren't 
Or, or you're not really looking for like a racially suitable name, though. No, I don't do that. All right. Um. You're the kind of person that would name a dog Bob. Fun fact. I don't know if I want to tell this story, but I've already said fun fact. You don't have to. So I have this molar that never grew in um, on the right side of my mouth. It's like a five-year molar, and the dentist had to, like, do this surgery to, like, kind of expose it to help it grow in. It never grew in, but I named it, like, Billy Bob Joe or something like that. Yep. And so every time I'd go to the dentist, he'd be like... How's Billy Bob today? Yikes. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. No one needed to know that. But... No, that's okay. Um, it does give us insight into why you don't do names that are, like, I'm not very, very suitable my names. for the the race of the person. Well, the race of the character. But there is... Do you need a towel? No. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know. I need to... I need towel all the whole time. I'm going to go with Zora, because that was my first instinct. M Zira. Zero. M zero. Oh, I like Ooh, zero though. I'm gonna do zero. What's the Zorsha? That's the name of the oh, female character that. from Willow. Zara. Right, I'm good. Zara? Thought you were doing zero. How do you? What would it be? Two e's? Or an apostrophe? I'll just do two e's. I think Z E R A is Zara. But that's Zero. Z Zero. Yeah. That's fine. Right. Just hit start. There you go. Not many wood elves would choose to come along with Skyrim. Oh well, man, did he just call you stupid? Not many wood elves would come alone to Skyrim. I didn't come alone. Well, there was a few other people in the wagon. Yeah, but you didn't. You weren't with them. Which is interesting that Hadvar acknowledges that, and then is still like, "Oh, you were part of that group. We're gonna kill you all the same." Hadvar. Hadvar. Had. Yeah, he's one of the people that you follow while you're escaping. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna follow him. Hadvar is a good enough dude. The Empire kind of sucks. War, plunge Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. That's how the Empire works. They treat kings like dogs. It's nothing. <sighs> yes, it's nothing. Give them their That's Talia's, dude. That's, That's why I joined the Stormcloaks on my first playthrough. How could you not? They just paint the Imperials like pretty terribly which is kind of part of it because they want you to feel engaged with like the Civil War but I don't know it'd be cool to do a to look at the personalities of Skyrim players and who allied with which side it's not very graphic yeah but it's still bad Chopped his head off. Yeah. What's the most graphic game there is? What? I said, what is the most graphic game what there is? is? Yeah. Um. What else? That's a good question. I guess it depends on what you define as graphic. Because, like, there are adult games that are, like, porn games, basically. Like GTA? No. Like Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. <laughs> um, uh, but I don't, I don't know what game would be the most graphic. Maybe one of the Resident Evils? Um, I don't play a lot of horror games, so I don't know. Not a good question for me to ask. Why, are you looking to play a graphic game? No, I was just curious. We could try one sometime. No. That's a question. So if you're watching this, uh, if you're in the chat, go ahead and chime in with what graphic games you think we should play. 
Um, if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, then just post in the comments any recommendations for graphic games that we should play. Maybe. Obviously, we'll like screen it a little bit. I feel like we would have to wait until like next Spooktober to play a Resident Evil or something like that. I don't know. Scott Johnson can't play Resident Evil. So, Why? Because he just screams the whole time. It's so funny to watch him play. There are some there are some graphic scenes in Tomb Raider. You can just go. You don't have Is to he wait going for going up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I yeah, wasn't you, sure. You, you don't have to wait. Turn back around. You know what you're doing. Oh my god. How am I totally like not dead there? Cuz it's the tutorial. I know, but Well, you, you can't kill players in a tutorial on a like teen game. People will wah about it. Oh, I pressed A to jump, not Y. Nope. Why is jump? A is interact. You can't loot anything during this. Ugh. Well, because you, you're supposed to have a sense of urgency. There's a drag. You get out. Like, run away. Alright, I'm running <laughs> away. You've played it a couple times, so that's kind of lost on you, but... The point of this is, like... <laughs> There's a dragon attacking. You can't stay here. You're, also, your hands are still tied. I know. I just keep pressing A on accident. It's all right. You can re we can rebind it for you if you want. So that A is jump and Y is no, interact. No, it's okay. I just need to get used to it. We can make it so that A is jump, X. We could like do see if these controls where X is interact, like no, loot something. It's okay. All right. Oh my god. We're just gonna hide under your wing here. Don't pay any attention to us. Well, the goal is to stay close to the wall so that he wouldn't see you. Yeah, that's you. So you can in mo most games will let you rebind controls. So if there's ever something that feels uncomfortable, you can rebind it. Who are you going with? We're going with Rayloff or Hadvar. I think I'm going with Hadvar. Yeah, Hadvar's a good dude. This one's Hadvar, right? Yep. Yeah, no, Hadvar's a good dude. Like, I feel like his family was just... You know, Skyrim... People. They're not all Nords. Like, both he and Rayloff are Nords, but... Damn. That fight music. <laughs> Can I work that for me real quick? I can get some of his background audio out. Cause that's just like wind. And you don't do that. And you music down. And you put stuff down a little bit. Thanks. Yeah. Just like the atmospheric effects in Sky. Like it's okay. The wind is nice when you're, you know playing to do that. What are you, a wood elf? Mm -hmm. Okay. What kind of character are you going to play? I'm going to go for the sneak archer type that wood elves are best at, or... I don't know. I'm going to play something original. Not to say that that's not original, but like, anybody who plays a wood elf archer was like, I'm going to be Legolas. I'm not very good at bow. Well, we can turn the, the sensitivity down a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Okay. I'm more comfortable with the sword. I know. You also don't do a, a lot of the sneak stuff. Or you haven't yet. Who knows if we'll make it all the way through the... The play... Like, the playthrough, though. You know? We were talking about that earlier, and we didn't know how long we were going to be playing Skyrim for. 
I don't know, buddy. See, but that's Hadver. Like, he's he's a good dude. Hold on now. They don't hold on. Your stamina is low, which may prevent you from sprinting or using power attacks. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. That's that green bar. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you're remembering. Oh, I know. You could go a single sword duelist style thing. That's a, a two handed weapon. I know. I was thinking about taking it. Yeah? Going full warrior. Full nutbag. <laughs> you can pick it up for now. You have tons of carry weight. Worst case scenario is you sell it later. We could try sometime, we could play ESO together. We've talked about that before in the past. Is that PC though? Um, well it'd be, it would be anything. We would probably play it on PC. That way we wouldn't need to buy a second Xbox or a second PlayStation. I don't know if Miranda would run it. Who is he talking to? Um, Where'd he go? He just stepped backwards. Stabby, stabby, stab, stab, stab. <laughs> You can't beat me. What a guy. Did you get the? Uh, did you get gloves? I don't know. There you go. Mm -hmm. I think you put on the boots. Do I? Do I not have boots? I don't know. I thought you had other boots on. Yeah, you put on the fur boots, but the light boots are really better. Haha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, naked feet. <laughs> you already killed the guy, now you gotta make fun of him for not having shoes? Yeah, I took his shoes. <laughs> Maybe that's your thing. I just go around You, and <laughs> you just shoes. take people's shoes. <laughs> get really good at sneaking and just pickpocket people's shoes right off them. That would be fun. <laughs> Dude, like, you're walking through the city streets. One of your party members is talking to a merchant to buy rations and water for the day. The next second, the merchant looks down. Oh, I was my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw you take them, but somehow you managed to take them off somebody while he was wearing them. That'd be impressive. That would be pretty fun. There are is a a talent. They're not called talents. I forget what they're called in Skyrim. A skill upgrade, I guess, that lets you pickpocket things that people are wearing. So you can do that in Skyrim. You could become Zora, Zira. You could become Zira the Shoe Stealer. I might have to steal that for the blog. <laughs> that might, Zira the Shoe Stealer. That might be a, the character concept for Red Hoodie blog next week. Bam! Zira, the shoe stealer. She needs a good backstory, though. You can't just steal people's shoes without a reason for it, you know? Yeah, I'll have to think about that. Or I'll think about it. I'll keep you guys posted. Zira, the shoe stealer. That sword's better than this one. It's two handed. Oh, it's, a great... it's a great sword, yeah. There's just bones in there, I think. Yeah. The middle one's got the golden spell book and stuff. Zero the shoe stealer. So your dad was a cobbler. And for I don't know. A couple weeks somebody was breaking into his shop, 
and stealing the shoes that he made. And Zira found out who it was, snuck into their house, and stole all of their shoes so that her dad could sell the shoes that he had made. And if he wasn't making enough money, because he'd been, you know, cleaned out for a couple of weeks. So Zira started stealing everybody's shoes and selling them so that she could get money for her family. And now she's just Zira the shoe stealer. Book of the Dragonborn. You're not reading books on stream, are you? Oh, I don't have to, I guess. People probably You can if you're that. really interested in it, but that would be like a I don't know, we'd set it up we'd have to get a one of those lazy boy chairs and get like right by the fireplace, you know, when the old dude reads the books with a glass of scotch. Yeah. And I'll get a glass of scotch. And you can run around in Skyrim and pick up books, and I'll read them. You'd like that. That'd be a great show. I would listen to people read the Skyrim books. They should so, probably do like a whole books on tape series of all that. Right? I don't know. I forget how many books there are there in the game There are so total. many, and I don't ever read all of them. 180? It's a lot of freaking time that people are putting into this. Right? Somebody sat down and wrote fantasy books. Which is not... Fantasy books for a game. Right, fa fantasy books for a fantasy. Yeah. That's like me writing the black journals for D&D. &D. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let me think. You won't leave alive! Going for the battle mage build, huh? You know, uh, Flames is higher damage spell than it, magic. It's not, though. Yes, it is. They both do Look. 8 points a second, but Spark strains Magicka and Flames deals extra damage to targets already on fire. Oh, well, I do like Flames better. I was trying out the Sparks. Sparks is better against casters because you drain their Magicka. Oh, good to know. Yeah, and then Frost is good against um, uh, two-handed weapon users because it'll slow them down. And drain their stamina so they won't be able to power attack you because like later on in the game i think that some of like the harder humanoid guys to fight are the bandit captains that have the 200 weapons on some of the quests you can also light that oil on fire just don't stand in it sorry hair brother yeah he's fine <laughs> miss <laughs> whoops Whiffed it. <laughs> Oopsies. Oops. Wow. What? I don't know. I'm just so like in Sea of Thieves mode still. So if we do like two or four episodes of Skyrim. We could do eight. We could do two months of Skyrim. Damn it, no going back that way. We'd have to do longer streams, but like you could you could get through the campaign in, in that amount of time. Um, yeah, we'll see. But at some point we're gonna switch. We'll do Sea of Thieves for sure. Yeah. What Today's I... double fishing rep. What? Oh. <laughs> well, do you do you get the emails right? Yeah, I got an email today that said the calendar you, I had giving. a gift. Or yeah, something. you gotta open the gifts. I didn't um didn't read it. Oh. I just saw the. Like so, some game studios will send you garbage, and some game studios will send you like meaningful stuff. Yeah. Rare and Sea of Thieves emails, is me like, like you should read those emails. Oh, do we have to go this way? Yeah, because okay. if it's for a major update, it'll be. This is where the bear is. Uh, the spiders. Hashtag spoil. That's. It's um, okay. Wrong spoiler. The game is old enough. You have been poisoned. Oh no. You're a wood elf too, right? You could use your nature power to make a spider friend. I don't want you. a spider friend. 
I don't know how long it lasts. Yeah. I've never played a wood elf in, in Skyrim. Played back in Morrowind because I wanted to make a, a druid like character. Alright. I don't know, you could try it on the bear. I don't know if it gives you a level criteria on the ability or not. How do I try it? Go to magic and then powers. And so that'll be on your shout button, your right bumper. You can hit Y to put it as your favorite. That way it's in your favorites menu. And then when you wanna use it, just make sure that your reticle is on the animal that you wanna befriend and then it's your bumper. Are you gonna try to friendly the bear? I'd like to. Do it up. <laughs> right now? Well yeah, I don't She's know. Sleeping. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Did it do anything? I don't know. I don't know if it's area based or if it's. You can only use it once a day. He's sneaking. Maybe it maybe it worked. Yeah, it must have. Yeah, she's like she's, passed she's, out. Can you talk to her? I don't think you can talk to her. But she's not gonna attack you. Yeah. Oh well. You like pacified the bear. Nice. <laughs> I see it one of two ways. We can sneak by it, or you can take her by surprise with this bow and arrow. Or you can befriend her, Hadvar. Yeah. There are more than two options. There almost always are. Good work. Look at you. <laughs> it's like that day that Katrana befriended that bear in the cave. Yes. You talked to that bear. It's exactly like that. Yeah. Except you can't talk to this one. Gosh, I don't know. We should. I wish that we had been streaming our our D and D. No, you're good. All right. I don't know. The group is not like. We wouldn't be worth watching on stream. Well, we just don't. Right. We don't have the presentation for it, and half the players aren't focused enough for that. No. The guys like to. They like to talk. Yeah. We split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Thanks. Even though you're gonna follow me into town. Uh, I think you're following him into town, he and he's going there because his uncle lives. Like, where else is he supposed to go? You can go anywhere. <laughs> Although you should go to the standing stones and. And hit one of those up. Oh, yeah. It's an elk. No. Yeah, right there. Mm, you see it? See it. No. White patch, not by that tree. It's moving. Oh, yeah. Yes. He gave you a bow. Oh, there's another one. Oh, well, hi. Maybe you wouldn't make a great ranger. No. Your vision is not that good. You're wearing your glasses, right? Yeah. You know, it's so. Do you remember in like, like? Oh, here we go. This is a good little teachable moment. Do you remember in Driver's Ed when you would look like three seconds ahead, six seconds ahead, and nine seconds ahead? What are you gonna do? Do you remember that? I'm sorry, I'm busy talking about right. orc. I don't have to take that from you. Whoop, you pissed her off. She pissed me off. She called me a milk drinker. Yeah, you are. You milk drinker. Oh god. Well, she's gonna Health. get you. Health isn't that good. No, your health is low. Can I drink a potion in time? How do I yeah, get to my food? Yeah, it just it pauses everything. Thank so whenever you. you need a minute to think, to, to think, just be. That's the best way to... I don't know, lady. Oh god, oh god. 
You don't have to like turn all the way around. I know, I just away. get nervous. I know, but you don't want to put your back to your enemy. Uh, that's what you get for calling me a milk drinker. <laughs> Zira, don't take any garbage. Any sass. You gonna switch to heavy armor or are you sticking with light armor? No. I'm not for now. Are you doing any crafting? Because you could take the iron ingot. Mm, I'm crafting right this second. Well, you have 300 pounds of carry weight, so you can pick up some stuff that you're going to use later, you know? Yeah, I like how these look. So remember in Driver's Ed, like village when you would look, it's a farm oh. or some, something up there. You can see the name. So Driver's Ed. Yeah. Three, six, nine seconds ahead. Yeah. It's like that in video games where depending on what you're doing and where you're at, you want to be looking at different levels ahead. Um, and we haven't really talked about that in Borderlands a lot because... Borderlands does a good job of like highlighting enemies and they're all running at you constantly the whole time um, but if you were to play Halo or Destiny or I, I don't think you'd have any fun playing Rainbow Six Siege but um, oh, oh, with left yeah. bumper oh my god yeah it's a trap that's a trap how do I get up there? There is a ramp on the other side where you just walk around. There is one. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to walk around to oh, get up yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Well, they don't want it to be easy. That's why they have bows. You could just use a bow. Don't have a bow. Yes, you do. Did I take one? Hadvar gives you one. Well, you're like on your way up, so you don't have to do that now, but. I yeah, just wanted to confirm. Bow. Yes. Yes. Yeah, switch to the wall hammer. See how that works. So if you were to play a, a shooter game, then you'd you'd get a little better at like looking at those levels depending on where you are. And the same thing kind of applies to Skyrim. Victory is yours. Where, like, if you're on the road, walking along, you can kind of just look at what's in front of you. But if you're in a dungeon or something, you want to, you know, scan your immediate surroundings and then flick your eyes up and scan what's higher, you know? I think that's a hunting bow. Better. Yeah, it's one more damage than your longbow. Not that you're using a bow, but... No, but maybe someday. Hmm. That's all this was, really, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a little highwayman stop. You gonna do some potion crafting? You don't do much. You haven't done much crafting historically in Skyrim. No, I just like the flowers. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, take some mountain flowers to remember. I'm surprised that you don't like crafting. Anymore. It's just another thing to learn. I guess so. It's over here. No banditos. Have you saved since you started? Probably not. Go ahead and save. I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything on you, but... Oh, but I'm gonna die. Who knows? Who can tell? You beat that oak. You did. Ah! Oh my god! But Spriggans aren't orcs. Where's my thing? X. Or you can just pull the trigger. Yeah. 
you're going to die. Yeah, I didn't even try. I didn't want to waste my potions. Yeah, maybe. If you haven't seen it yet, our, our Christmas tree is back up there. Pretty nice. Yeah, we just decorated it like an hour or two ago. Not even. Like... I don't know what time it is. A so. little over 47 minutes ago. Mm. Don't want to go to Peak Shade Tower again? No, not really. Yeah, maybe Spriggans I'll, are a little... Maybe I'll just get to uh, where I was supposed to go in the first place. <laughs> That's the best thing, though. You can kind of go where you want. It's a lovely day to take a stroll. Yeah, you're pretty far away from it now, but... Yeah, whatever. I'll find it again. Not impossible. What's going on up there? It's not. It was the mill next to you. Oh. This is... Let me guess. Someone stole your sleep. Guys are all so sassy. Yeah. Well, everyone's no. sassy. And scary. I don't really have time for you. You're kind of a nobody right now. Even nobodies are somebody else. Yes. The Skyrim guards are not an open minded, mindful people. Music is lovely. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But we could get up there. <laughs> we say that when we're driving. We'll be driving and see a mountain somewhere and be like, I bet we could get up there. So it's funny to do that in Sky. <laughs> We're gonna sneak up to the back of this, huh? I don't think I can get up there. You could. tapping one. I am tapping one. Yeah, but, well not, you're, you're pressing it like every two seconds. You gotta just tap it. Alternatively, yeah, you can walk all, you are at the back of the structure, so. Folk Reef Watch Tower. Some voodoo going on there. thought you weren't doing crafting. Well, I guess I am. <laughs> you should, but you absolutely don't have to. Honeycomb. I don't know what I've ever... If you want to take everything from a sack, just hit X. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if you remembered or not. Oh. They died quickly. It's nine o'clock at night. Ooh, candlelight. Nice. It's usually the one that I have to buy. Read that one. You don't have to read the whole thing, but no, no. The one on top. There you go. Mm. See how it has the, the spell symbol on it? Mm -hmm. Anything that has a symbol of one of the spell schools is a skill book. Yeah, I thought that was the one I clicked on, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Candlelight's a good spell. Yeah, like I said, that's usually one that I have to, I have to buy because you don't find it somewhere. But that's the light that hovers by you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, 
that's down where I was. Isn't it? Yeah, that's Falkreath. That's the deer symbol on your mini map. Or your mini map bar. Mm -hmm. Wesley, is it bath time or what? Yeah, Dad. It's the nightly footlock. I just hope that I can't hear him. Look at himself over there. I apologize if you can hear our cat giving himself a bath. He's quite rude. He's just loud. He's a good boy, but he's a loud boy. He's sometimes a good boy. He's sometimes a good boy. I know, she's having a hard time. I mean, it's a heavy weapon. It is heavy, I don't blame her. You're doing good jobs, Zira. I almost called her Zora. Zira. Yeah, that's okay. That's I don't know. That's the like biggest difference between Skyrim and other. Ooh, what? Well, hello there. Oh my god! Leave this freaking horse alone. Oh gosh! Don't hit the horse. I won't. I won't. You could steal it though. I think I might. It doesn't have an owner. Around. Right? It just appeared out of nowhere. Thanks, Skyrim. <laughs> Nine years later and it's still broken. Almost nine years. Maybe it's only got eight killed years. by By the skeletons. By the skeletons. Oh man. Didn't think of that one though, did you? No. You can sprint while you're on a horse, BT dubs. I'm gonna ride it. What it's, are you attacking? It's a hunter. Looks like he's hunting mud crabs. Gross. Hey man. Crab meat's good. I know you don't like seafood, but... Oh, oh no, I not attack. How do I get off the horse? It's an A. Same way you got on. Oh, man. It's a conjurer. You think I can't beat him? You can. I just didn't expect to see a conjurer over here. Just pull the trigger. Oh my god, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do good here. You'll you'll be fine. You can level up too to refill your bars. Oh that's true. You've already spent one potion, so Might as well keep yeah. going. Where is he? Come here. That's rude. <laughs> Alright, take your level up. Good reaction there. Good time. Good reaction time, god. I don't know why I couldn't say that in just one slice. Maybe I'll deal with this later. I mean, it's your first perk is just a raw boost to something, so it's usually an easy enough thing to take, but like, what do you want to be good at? Maybe I'll do two-handed, because that's what I'm doing. Right, it's like a raw 20% damage buff. Did it go? Yeah, it went. Turned orange. There you go. Get out of here. Going for a big old barbarian build as a wood elf. <laughs> hmm. Wood elf barbarian. If you have the patience for it, you should go up to the Guardian Stones, too. Yeah, where are they? So that's a raw 20% XP buff. They'll be on your way. You can see them from your mini-map bar. Yeah, I thought so, but they're gonna... Oh, over there? Yeah. Yeah, this is... this comes up and around over to where you... Would have gone. I did venture a ways away. Yeah, they're just down the hill. Okay. Then I don't want to get caught with this stolen horse. Well, you just can't get on it while somebody's watching you. I might lose my head. But what if I ride into town with it? Then you'll be fine, you just can't get back on it in town. Can this horse go off this cliff? Yeah. It'll, it'll survive? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I told you I didn't know. I feel horrible. <laughs> you rode a horse off a cliff. I'm so sorry, horse. I'm not gonna take. You're it. not gonna. T you're gonna let it rot there. Way to respect its sacrifice. Well, here's some flowers that I'll put on your body. If I could do that. You can. How do I do that? You search the horse. Go to your inventory. Um. There are under ingredients. ingredients. Yeah. Let's see. And you can put a flower in it. There you go. Oh, you ate it. Um, X is good. I'll do this. This that's not very nice. Let's go find some other flowers. <laughs> you rode a horse off a cliff, and now you want to put flowers in its body. Yeah, I feel bad for it. There you go. Red mountain flowers. Alright. I would drag its corpse into the river and send it along. Can I do that? But that's me. Yeah. X. There you go. Age stone. Warrior stone. Thief stone. Going warrior this time. Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> what? I don't know. It was just annoying. <laughs> so sorry. It's all good. I can't believe I freaking killed that horse. Oh, so Do you know sweet. how many horses have died in the this is history to be of Skyrim? Friendly. Oh my god. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I don't know, you're the one who rode it off a cliff. You could have just walked down. It was right there. I wanted to know. Well now you know. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> not really. It's okay. It's not okay. Can I take that mushroom? Yeah. Ooh. Some Mora Tapanella. You can switch those two buttons. No. Oh. Okay. We're gonna go back to Sea of Thieves and you're gonna be opening your menu every two seconds trying to sprint. I know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'll be okay. Yeah. It's good for you to, like, build that different dexterity, too. Like, having lots of different sets of controls in your muscle memory <laughs> enhances neuroplasticity. Hey, there's Hadvar. Sven. No, you. Yeah, well, there's Sven right there. Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's kind of a jerk. Okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. Hmm, something to eat. What? You haven't eaten in like a day. It's nighttime. Yeah, take people's cabbage. Well, it didn't say steal, so I assume it's up for grabs. Just because you can have something doesn't mean you need that thing. Cabbage is good for you. <laughs> Cabbage is pretty good. They probably have a lot of it. I can't see him if I'm sitting down. You can hit the right, right stick in. And that gives you a bit of broader rotation. Husband. Husband. Husbando. 
and Stragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if that I like that Hadvar is the one doing the cooking. Why don't you have a seat and I'll get you something to eat? No, it's okay, Ma. I got it. Not Ma, Aunt. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. You gotta build a house to be able to have animal trophies. But you could do that, you could build a trophy room. I don't know that I want to. I don't know. Put my horse in there. <laughs> I don't think you can do that. But take gift. Yeah, they're giving you supplies. Do I take all of it? Take whatever of it you like, want, or will use. I always take the crafting stuff, because I go out after this and talk to Alvor again, who gives you the stuff to get your first two levels in smithing. But... You like to smith Well, because you can, the only way to get the best gear in the game is to make it yourself. Which I really like, because in a lot of games, like, at some point, crafting stops being effective at all and you have to be like doing end game raids. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the fall. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're a dragon sweep. Fun fact, you can go to the barrow and get the dragon stone before you even go to White Run. But these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last. Though. I don't think he liked either Ulfric or Ellis as much. Who can blame him? But yeah, they both kind of suck. He's loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Of course, Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I. I don't know that that's true. You didn't ask all of these questions the first time you came through here. I didn't. No. Your first playthrough? No. Well, I don't know, you, you didn't know it, that's why you're asking him, obviously. Are you interested now? Maybe. Okay. Why? <sighs> Sorry, I'm listening. Uh, Usually you don't care about the story. Well, I'm trying to pay attention to it because I do just click right through things. Alright. No in and if we're being honest, I'll probably forget, but... That's okay. No, I don't know. Like, with a game that you like, it's good to, like, get into the lore of it. It helps, too, in something like Skyrim where you have to... You don't have to, but you can pick a side in the war, and you like kind of want to know who you want to side with. No, the Thalmor can just go around and arrest people for their religious beliefs? No, that's not okay. You're allowed to believe whatever you want to believe in as long as you're not hurting other people. Yeah, if the Emperor is answering to the Thalmor, you know something is wrong. He didn't have to. He didn't have to. Could have told the Thalmor to get out of town. Whatever you need. 
to leave my friend. Within reason, of course. I... Did it have big teeth? Real big teeth. Yeah, real big. Like swords. Trust me, little girl, you don't want to see those. You're just going to take our money, huh? The gentleman's guide to a white, white runner. No. Sounds fun. I think you get one of those when you buy the white run house. Well, um. Do you want to go to White Run or are you? I'm feeling like this might be an okay place to stop. Okay, that's the fine. Evening, maybe? Yeah, yeah. We've had a you know a little over an hour now, um, and when I clean it up a little bit, it might be just about close to an hour. So mm -hmm. that's fine if you want to go ahead and save. Um, and then so next week will be Gaming with Girlfriend episode two, where. I think we're talking about it from your perspective early on. Mm-hmm. Was um, how you uh, acclimatized to a, a gamer relationship. Um, yep. And, like, what frustrations you had and how you... I don't want to say get got over them, but, like, how, how we communicated to deal with that. Yeah. Um... So that's going to be next week on episode two. Um, we might stream on Sunday night. Okay. That works for me. Should work for me too. Cool beans. So probably uh, this Sunday, follow us. I am at to 5 on Twitter. You are at... Um, Cali underscore Flanders on Twitter. Uh, and so if you want constant updates about when we are streaming, when the shows are come there, uh, follow us on Twitter to do that, or stay tuned uh, here on Mixer or on YouTube if you're watching after the fact. Um, if you tuned in, thanks a whole bunch, and we'll see you next week. Bye!